The needle threader on the FOP sewing machines are amazing. Now this little lever is pushed all the way down and you can see there's a little kind of head rotating towards the back of the needle. Well inside there, there is a little tiny hook that's gonna pull our thread from the front of the needle back and through. Now here's a couple tips to always making your needle threader work. Number one, make sure your needle's at the highest position and not by just turning your hand wheel, but by using the needle up, needle down button and actually let that needle come to the highest point. Now if you've just put a new, fresh needle in and you do not get it high enough, this needle threader will not line up with the eye of the needle. So that would be a clue, number one, to maybe re-insert uh, your needle make sure it gets high enough and also a way to check that you've done it correctly. Next, when you pull on your thread, notice it comes out very easily, but if you lower your presser foot, it's tight and actually makes it a little easier to use your needle threader, plus you have a little bit more room down in this area. So here's what we wanna do. When you bring your needle threader down part way, take your thread and come underneath that little arm. Bring your needle threader down all the way next and hold it firmly at the lowest position. Then bring your thread over to the needle between those two little arms and then lift up just a little bit. Now, if you hold on too tight over here, the thread will not go through the needle. So you kind of have to let it pull out of your fingers and it'll pull that little loop out the back and that will be your thread that you'll pull all the way through the machine. Here's how it's gonna look again. So partially down, hook underneath, down all the way, then put it in the needle threader, lift up, not back, and then just gently let the two of them do their job and then pull the loop through the needle eye. And you're all ready to sew.